Hello again, I'm back, um, wearing the MJF t-shirt that I wore in the last episode, don't worry, I've recorded both episodes on the same day, I'm not being a dirty scrubber wearing the same shirt for the last five or six days what, since the last episode, but yeah, um, thank you as always for people being watching, subscribing, liking the videos, um, leaving comments, I really appreciate it, so just to educate you in case you didn't know, with YouTube now it's not necessarily about people subscribing, it's more about people watching the videos and liking the videos and leaving comments. So thank you to the people who've been watching my videos, leaving comments, liking the videos. It helps push out my videos to other people. Um, I want to try and help get more people watching TW content, because that means they buy the game likely. And then the, the bigger the community, the better. Um, I mean, you can look at Football Manager as a prime example of a community driven game and how popular it becomes. And obviously now with the fact that TEW, are, um, the, the Grey Dog software, Adam Ryland, they're bringing out another TEW game, which I swear I got told by somebody that they weren't bringing out another game. So it's great news. Hopefully it will encourage them to keep producing more games and hopefully the more money they make, the better game they make. Um, and we'll have fun in the process. But yeah, I'll uh, leave you with that. And then in a second, I'll be back with the first Afterburn episode of the of this of the episode basically but yeah back in a sec right we're back with the first afterburn episode and um Ida dawn's left but she wasn't a massive loss at the end of the day um so what we're going to do is start the show i didn't want that i didn't want to do that stupid mouse having a mind of its own Um, we're going to start with the women's, like a women's tag team match. So we'll have, um, Julia on one side, and then what we'll do is have her with, who should we have a tag up with? Uh, we're kind of not really got anybody good. I suppose Aisha. Oh, we can't, she's not available. Um, uh, yeah, uh, we'll go. Side Brooks side, and then we'll put Valkyrie and probably uh, Fe Feckler, whatever her name is. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. We'll have that. Uh, we'll leave it up to the AI, and then what we'll do afterwards is we'll have Valkyrie fighting, Feckler fighting, Julia. Selling and Zybrook side selling. Oh, selling. So that'll help with the storyline. Um. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do Gabe Stevenson and Akid versus Blue Kane and Levi Mule. That was meant to be a match for the last episode. Just leave it blank. Good. Uh. Blue Kane, microphone, Levi Moore, microphone, and then we'll just not rate these and just, there you go. We'll do that as a pre-match angle for that. And then what we'll do now is we'll have another tag team match for the tag title. So Nathan Martin, Darren Kearney, Kip Wilson, Dalton Prince. We'll have tag champions retain, but we'll have it as an open match. Hopefully, it helps pretty deadly get over. Um, and that's that, really. We'll start the show. So the women's tag team match got seventy six. Um, as you as you can tell, Gulia and Valkyrie were the standout performers. Their tag partners didn't do very well. As I broke side, with a forty six. Beckler with a fifty five. And uh, apparently, Zaya Brookside thinks she'd be better off without her dad as her manager. So we'll take that into account after this show. The post-match beatdown afterwards got a 45. Yes, I get you. I get it. I get it, Zaya. You don't want your dad there. Uh, the angle with Gabe, Stevenson, Blue Kane, Levi Moore and Akid got a 60 rating. The match got a 67, which ain't too bad. 
Um, a kid was the standout performer. Blue Ken, Johnny Kid are a good pair here. More than the hype defeated pretty deadly in 17 minutes, and that got an 86 rating, which was really good. Fair play to Alton Prince and Kit Wilson, they did their bit as well. So that's good. Got 78 overall. We didn't have any improvements on the popularity. We got 172 people in. So not too shabby at all. So I'll be back in a sec with the next show. Right, we're back for the next Afterburn episode. Uh, what I'm going to do is something different. Is I'm going to have an in intergender match. So what we're going to have is our best, well, one of our best male workers in Nathan Martin tagging up with uh, one of our best female wrestlers. And then we'll have, I'm trying to think who we could have, Joseph Connors, there you go. We'll have Joseph Connors tag up with um, Valkyrie. So this will be an interesting experiment to see how this goes. Never done an in I don't think we've done an intergender match before. And what we'll do is a promo for the show. We'll have Joseph Connors, microphone Valkyrie, microphone, and uh, who did I just put in the tag team match? I've already got my mind's already gone blank. Nathan my microphone, Guia, microphone, like so. Well, that's that. That there, and then we do that, and then because I don't like to start the show with an angle, we'll have a one on one match. What we'll have is Rich Swan versus um, Mark Haskins. Hopefully, Mark Haskins won't be off his game in this one. But because it's the opening match, it's not a disaster if it doesn't work out. Right, so that's that. Um, and then what we'll do now is another one-on-one -on -one match. Davy Boy Smith Jr. versus Darren Kearney. Because Darren Kearney is a very good singles wrestler on his own. And what we'll do is we'll just have David Boy Smith Jr. Microphone, Darren Kearney, Microphone. And that'll be um that'll be like a pre match promo between each other. Um we've got that's it really. We can't know anybody else. So pack and edge get a rest. 79, which ain't too bad. Um which one carried that match? I didn't even know. I didn't even look to see who won. Sorry. I'll, I'll have to I'll find out in a second. 60 rating for that. So let's just go back. Who won? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to find out afterwards. Um, my bad. I apologise. Right. Tag team match. Vintage gender match. Only got a 76 rating. Nathan Martin and Gulia won. Um, Gulia had 79. 85 for Nathan Martin. Valkyrie with 77, Joseph Connors with an 85. Um, it just didn't seem to gel as well as I thought it would. And then the pre-match promo battle between Kearney and Smith Jr. got a 67. Uh, In-ring match got an 81, Darren Kearney won. So a bit of a singles push for Darren Kearney at the moment. I've not completely forgotten about him and Nathan Martin as the tag champions, but because there's not many tag teams out there they will have to be given singles matches as well because they're so good in the ring i need to make the most of them we've increased our popularity in one region 77 overall rating and 172 people again which seems to be the norm now so yeah just wait for this to finish to see if there's any news um if you can hear a buzzing noise there's a fly or something around and i can't can't see it at the moment. Right, no news items worth looking at. Uh, apparently AOP are going to split up as a tag team. So, right then. 27 prestige, so that's gone up slightly. Momentum's gone down though. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Right, we're back. 
Um, I have made some new signings, but we'll go through them as we go along because um, there's quite a few. So this show and the next Afterburn episode will probably be about just giving as many new wrestlers debuts as possible. So yeah, it's going to take, you just have to bear with us with this. So we're going to do a lot of 10-way singles matches today. So uh, we've got some women's wrestlers that we want to check out first. Um, so Alexis Nicole, um, I think Amy Muir is another one. Flipping mouse pad, right, it's easy if we do this. Amy Muir, Angel Blue, Raizu, Nanase, Beautiful Beer, uh, Chelsea, Divian, is it Div Divian? D Davian, sorry. There we go, Davian. Um, Delilah Doom, and then Fabi Apache and Faye Jackson. So this will be the first pre-show match. And then we'll do exactly the same again with the women's. Um, there you go, female. So Baby Love is one we haven't used, actually. Baby Love, and then there's Haruka uh, Yumezaki, Hina, or Haina, however you want to pronounce it, Haragi, Harumi, um, Jasmine, Aribi, Jessica Black, Arlene Gore, Kira, Kaguma, and La Jero, uh, Jero, uh, Jerosia. That's that. BE2, there you go. Uh, how long have we got left to pre show? Right, so we've got another, we can do another one of these. Like I said, we just want to give as many women wrestlers a chance here. So, right, let's, let's start from the bottom here. So we've got Yuma Mizumori, Exandor oh, Bayer. Um, hello, Baxter. Right, Baxter's come to say hello. Um, Tomoka Anaba, Skyler. So we've got Shotzi Blackheart as well so she's one of the ones that i've actually given a written contract all the other women that i brought in they're on paper um paper appearance deals uh santana still got quite a few women's wrestlers that we haven't given debuts to yet but yeah well, that's the pre-show done and then what we'll do is see if we can do another 10 women match for the post the post show. We'll do female. There might not be 10 that we've got here, but we'll see. We can just throw in some of the other ones in there that's already wrestled for us as well. Rhea. I will do Rebel Kel because she's not wrestled either. Rhea. Um, Renee. Michelle. Ray Lynn. Ran Hjo, Rani Victoria, Princess Soy Sajoy, Nadi, uh, Mayu, Anaseki, and there's still a few that we haven't given. Michaela Smith, Mel Shiraga, Mel Hashiroki Hashiguchi, Hash no Hashizuki, I apologize, Mary Lee Rose. Mayaka Asaki, Maddie Mats, uh, Lavulia, La, Ma Na La Magnifica, Kirsty the Lover is probably one we haven't given debut to. So we'll do them next show. Um, but yeah, we'll do that. Yes, I forgot about that. Um, let's go across. Put V 
be four. Like so. So next match we're gonna do is a multi-man. We've got quite a few tag teams now, so we can do a four-way tag team. I've got some new tag teams to play with. We've got a male tag team view. We've got British Ambition, which is Pac and Joel Redmond, Butcher and the Blade, so we'll give them their day views. Um no, we've already had them. La Luchas. Ex, uh, La Luchas Espectralaris New Heavenly Bodies uh, let's see what else Right Act which is um, Azriel and Alex Puller do that like so and uh, so that's the Main, oh yeah, main event. Um, we could do with an angle afterwards, actually, to be honest. We'll do the blade fighting, butcher fighting. Who are we going to get in the attack? Oh, we'll just put, oh, we'll just put Azriel selling Alex Colon selling, like so. Just keeps the angle perverts happy. Um, so, right, okay. Right, let's do. No, I won't do that actually. What we'll do is we'll do a, a five versus five, maybe. Where is it? Have I gone past it? Ah, there we go. Five versus five. We'll do that. Right, and then we'll do. Ace Parry, he hasn't wrestled. AJ France. This will be a post show match because I can't imagine this will be the best match in the world. We're just trying people out. No, no. Yeah, that's the one. Um, who else? Come on, Davy Richards. I think Davy Richards might be controversial because I think he got recently did something. I can't remember if that's true or not. Let me know in the comment section if that's the case, and I will get rid of him, as I have a zero policy on wrongans. Um, right, so that's that. We'll do that as a post show match. This show is basically a throwaway show. We're just trying to get as many people on here as possible just to see if they're any good. Hopefully they will be. So, right, we've got quite a bit left. So we'll do another one of these. Um, we'll start at the bottom this time. So we'll go... I don't know, we'll go do mail. That would help. Scroll down here. Lee Mac. Uh, Trick Williams, who we've managed to get, he's a, he's at NXT, but he's only on a paper ver paper appearance contract. Ted DiBiase Jr., Silas Young, Shane Matthews, who's obviously in AEW in real life as Daddy Magic. Um, Sean Maluta, Ruckus, who I'm a big fan of from the CCW days. Robert. Gressica, RJ City, Ricky Mandel. Right, so we'll just do that there. Right, um, still got time for one more, so we'll just do. An eight man singles match, I think. It'll have to, it won't be a long one because I've got to fit an angle in just to keep the angle perverts happy. We just gotta go through these now and see who we haven't. So Ricky J McKenzie, 
Petey Williams. Um, Nick Gage. Yes, I brought in Nick Gage. Again, I was a big fan of CCW back in the day. Mike Patrick. Matthew Justice. A lot of these probably won't be here after the next show or two. We're just giving them a try. I just got bored of the roster. I just wanted to bring some fresh faces in, really, to be honest. Uh, I think Johnny Idols wrestled for us, but I'll, I don't know. Joel Redman hasn't there. Right, there you go. Oh, yeah, let's do 12 minutes for that. And then I'll just do an angle afterwards with... We'll just do Ricky J. Mackenzie fighting, and then we'll just put Joel Redman, not Joel Allen. Sell it, sell him. Sorry if this is a bit chaotic, everyone. I hope it's not putting you off. Ah, right, we've done too long of a match. We need to trim some off here. No, no, that doesn't count for the post show. Doesn't really make any difference. Right, um this post show again. I need to look at the there you go. Knock some time off this. And then knock some time off this. Um done 65 minutes so what's going on here i don't you use your entire pre-show the post show is currently ah okay the post show right okay so we'll just knock five minutes off this and then five minutes off this right perfect we are good to go right sorry about all that all right there we go so let's see how we get on. There's not really anybody in that women's match that stood out. I mean, the best performer had a 48, and that was um, Davian. Amy Miura got a 47. Oh, no, 54. Delia Doom had the best rating with 54. So maybe try and remember them three. Maybe I'll put them three in with better workers next time, see how they get on. 46 for that. Yeah, uh, I'm not even bothered. I'm not going to... Oh, I will with this one, actually. Um... Haruka Umasaki won. I forgot to look at what who the winner was in the other one. But um, yeah, Haruka Umasaki got a 68, so that's good. So she might be able to do well with better opposition. The rest were just pants. Carly and Angor was absolutely terrible. She shouldn't be anywhere near a wrestling ring. And then in the final pre-show match, we had Yuna Mizumori. Win the match. Um, she got a 58 rating, which isn't too bad. Tomoka Inaba got a 58. Shotzi got a 65, so that's good. So maybe she's a decent worker. Sarah Lee definitely needs to leave. 15, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's definitely. Um, the, the, the women's roster is going to get a little bit smaller again. <laughs> um, but it's a very an expensive experience, uh, experiment here. Butcher and the Blade won the four way tag team match. Um, Phoenix Star got a 60 rating. That's about it. The rest were just rubbish. But it is what it is. Angle afterwards isn't even worth talking about. And then um, Willie Mack, Trick Williams, Ted DiBiase Jr., Silas Young, and Shane Matthews win, defeated the uh, team of Sean Maluta, Ruckus, Robert Dressica, RJ City, and Ricky Mandel. Uh, Trick Williams submitted RJ City to win. They got a 56 rating. Let's see, Trick Williams got a 63, which isn't too bad. Uh, Robert Dries got a 75, so we might have a, a decent single star in him. We'll see. And then in uh, the other match, Logan Bryce uh, won the match. I think it was an eight-way match. 68 rating for Ricky J. McKenzie. 76 for Logan Bryce. And 70 for Joel Redman. So not too bad at all. And then the angle to close the show. Got, oh, yeah. And then we've got the post show matches. I'm all over the place though. I'm sorry, everyone. Um, Rene Michelle with a 54 rating, which isn't too bad. Naddy with a 63. So maybe Naddy will be better. 
and then the other one um basically i'm not gonna i'm not gonna bother who, we're not bothered about who wins well i'm not anyway um aramis got a 66 so I'm going to get rid of David Richards anyway because he's not even that good in the ring. Uh, Artemius Spencer got 60, but yeah, it's a bit disappointing. The rest were a bit rubbish. Desson Pratt only got a 17. Deshaun Pratt, whatever his name is. We've increased the popularity in one region somehow. Uh, 59 rating, 189 people. So despite the fact that we put on an absolute rubbish show, we managed to get the most people ever for uh, Afterburn episode. And we've increased our popularity in one region, which don't make sense to me. So the only one of the few positives coming out there is Robert Dreisaker probably is a good worker. We could probably put him in there with Hack at the next Afterburn episode, see if he's any good against uh, one of our best workers. Um, Maya, Mayu Amasaki is pretty good in the ring, should push the kid from Yumi Misamori and then uh, Leo Ryan has charisma and lots of upside so that's good did we get an increase in not really so on that on the there uh, get rid of that and then how long we got so we got we got the next event in four days time so I'll forward it to that and then we'll do that and then we'll call it a day for this episode so I'll see you in a sec Right, we're uh, back for the uh, Fight Club Pro Techers. Um, I apologise if the energy levels have been a bit low today. I don't know what's up with me. I'm just suddenly in the last... Um, I was right in the first episode I recorded, I think. Um, but yeah, this one I've been really just not with it. So I, I apologise for that. I don't know what's up with me. Um, but yeah, I'll try and do my best for this show to try and make it a little bit more exciting and entertaining for you. But we're going to try and book... The best show we possibly can so let's start with right, one on one match and we'll have Robert Dreisaker versus Rich Swan. I think that'd be a good one on one match to start the show with we'll give Dreisaker the win and then we'll do Robert Dreisaker fighting Rich Swan selling so post match beatdown. Um, right, next match one on one. We'll do Joel Redmond, Joel Joseph Parker, sorry, versus. Oh, I don't think we can do Joel Redmond, he's not available by the looks of it. So, who are we going to put against Joseph Connors? Anthony Henry, maybe? They might have a good match. Do that. Ah. Right. Five minutes. Nope. Oh. Actually, we won't have Anthony Henry then. He's not able to even do a 20, about 15 minute match with Joseph Connors. He's not worth putting on there. Tell you what, we'll put Gabe Stevenson in there. See how he gets on. And uh, what we'll do is a pre-show um, pre promo by Joseph Connors before the match. So that's that one. And then what we'll do now is we'll do a four-way women's match. We'll have Julia, Valkyrie, and then what? who else are we going to have? Shotzi. Um... We want to try and put on the best show we can on this one. We've just got to try and pick our best women's wrestlers. Maybe Renee Michelle. Can't remember who, if anybody actually on the women's side in them matches, perform well enough to deserve the chance. Well, Haruka, uh, Yumasaki did all right. So, yeah, we'll put her in there. See how she gets on. And we'll have the women's title on the line. Um, Valkyrie will have Retain. 
hopefully that'll be a good match. And then afterwards we'll have Valkyrie. Um, we'll do an entertainment angle with Julia and Valkyrie. I don't know what that'll do, if anything, but it, it, I'm just getting bored of doing the same angles, if I'm honest with you. Uh, right, so we're doing all right at the moment. Let's do a four-way tag team title match. So we've got Nathan Martin. Oh, have we got Nathan Martin? Nathan Martin's not available. So we can't do the tag title match. So we'll just have to... We'll have Pretty Deadly in there. Oh, for God's sake. Bugger off. Um, right. Not the Believers. Dirty Blondes, maybe. No, we'll have Midnight Ravers. Which is Rich Swan and Willie Mack. We'll have the Showstoppers in there. And then we'll have Pretty Deadly. I know we've already got Pretty Deadly. Um, Dirty Blondes, then. Actually, no. Dino Hearts. Tag team title match. Oh no, it's not tag team title match. One moment, lads. Right, let's just go back here a sec. No, not this. This this one. Yeah. Uh, absent workers. Let's have a look. Where's Nathan Martin? Is he injured? Nathan Martin working for over the top wrestling today. Is Darren Kearney doing the same? Yeah. So we. We can't even put Darren Kearney in a singles match, but oh well, here's what it is. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll have one-on-one -on -one match. We'll do Edge. Who do we put Edge in with? Right, let's see who we can put him in there with. Uh, Exclude the people who've already wrestled. Hmm, not exactly got many choices here, have we? Maybe Mark Brisket, Mark Haskins, maybe. Pete Williams, we'll do Pete Williams. See how he gets on with Edge. This will either be really good or really bad. And then we'll do Pete Williams fighting Edge, selling after the match. Right, so we've done 118 minutes. We can do probably another match, I think. We'll do Pack versus... Who do we have him go against? Let's try from the bottom, see if there's anybody not Trick. Maybe Trick? I don't know. Um, I think there's somebody probably better. Rampage Brown. I don't think we've done Pack versus Rampage Brown yet. So I'm swaying towards that one. We've already done Mark Haskins versus Pack. Uh, Hugo, Hugo de Sol. I don't, I don't know if he's any good on this database. Fandango, same. I've got to go with tried and tested. I think we've already done Pack versus David Boy Smith Jr. So I think. The way to go, unless there's somebody I'm missing here, is Rampage Brown. So we have Pat versus Rampage Brown. And we'll go 20 minutes. Heavyweight title. We'll go Pat. Sorry for that tapping noise. I think Next Door's having some work done, so I apologise if you can hear that. Go steal the show. Right, so that is that. Let's see how we get on. 82, that's good. 82. Uh, Robert Joyce going in with 75 again, so maybe that's his limit. I don't know. But yeah, Rich won 85. We can always guarantee him to have a good match with anybody. 62 for the angle afterwards. Angle with Joseph Connors and Gabe Stevenson about 68. Uh, the match got an 81, which is a testament to Joseph Connors. 71 for Gabe, though, so it's not too bad. Valkyrie retained the title, got an 80. So Julia got an 80, Valkyrie 79, and then Shotzi only got 59, and uh, uh, Yumasaki got a 66. So 
but it is what it is. We've just got to make do with what we've got. Angola has got a 70. And then the tag team match was won by Pretty Deadly. Got an 80 rating, which is really good. Uh, Willie Mack was the... Oh, sorry, no, Amazing Red, Willie Mack and OJ Hart were the weaklings. But then we had, like, three wrestlers with 80-plus ratings and then two with 70-plus. So works out nicely at the end of the day. <clears throat> Starting to get a croaky voice. Probably been talking too much. Um, right, in a, an exceptional match, Edge defeated Pete Williams... Got a 70 rating. Pete Williams not very good on this database. I'm going to have to tinker with that, I think. 66 for the angle afterwards. And then in the main event, Pac defeated Rampage Brown. Got a 74 rating. I was expecting higher. Both wrestlers were rubbish in this match. They don't click at all. That's such a shame that the main event was ruined. But we've increased our popularity, which is great. Got a 75 rating and 260 people turn up. Nowhere near as many as the last event, though, so that's quite disappointing. It was like, we got like 500 last event. So, hmm. Food for thought. Maybe not having Edge in the main event probably hurt it a bit. I don't know. I'll, maybe the next event we do, we'll put Edge in the main event and see if it makes a big difference. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't, but we'll see. But, um... See, we've had a few. We've had a offer from Dust, Dustin Rose from New Japan, but he's only a road agent who barely does any road agent for us, so it's not too bad. All right, so let's look at this. Twenty-seven thousand eight hundred and seven viewers overall. So let's just have a quick look at the popularity. Eighty momentum, twenty-seven prestige. Prestige takes ages to build up, but yeah, ignore that. I'll change that in a minute. But um. Let's save this before I forget. But yeah, that's that really for today. I'm just going to ex extend this. Um, yeah, like I said, sorry about the energy levels. Uh, I think all these early mornings are starting to catch up on me. So I apologise. Hopefully next week I will be a lot more energetic um, and a lot more with it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Um, thank you as always for continue to leave comments so I know I'm doing when I'm, when I'm doing all right and when I'm not. Um, thank you for the booking advice as well. So it helps me when it comes to that. I have taken on board what some of you have said. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you as always. Thank, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and please like the videos. The more people like the videos, the, um, YouTube push them out. Um, comments as well is always a good way of that as well. And obviously watch time. So yeah, thank you very much. I'm off and I'll see you next week. All the best.